What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to add floor, add a shaft opening, and we're going to modify the slope of our existing roof deck. So if we are going to open this in the 3D view, so this is how it looks like. So we're going to modify our uh, roof deck, the slope of this, because as you can see, it's not uh, clearly and nicely created. So this is how it looks like at the moment. And then we're going to create here our uh, floor. And then we're going to create an opening for that floor. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to open the second floor. And then from the structure tab, I'm going to select the floor structural. So the shortcut is SB. You can type SB for that as a shortcut or you can click this icon. Just click this. And then for the options bar, I'm going to uncheck extend into wall core uh, options. So I'm going to uncheck that one. And then from the draw panel, we are now going to create the boundary of our floor. So I'll be using the line tool. So let's click this. And then I'll be starting on B1. B1 grid, uh, G1, uh, G4 else uh d4 what else uh d3 and c3 okay so just click that one and then just select here modify for the meantime because what i'm gonna do is i'm going to select all of these lines that i just created so as you can see i have five lines there so what i'm gonna do here is on the options bar there is the cantilever concrete option so i'm gonna change the value of this so instead of zero I'm going to make this minus 150. Before that, I'm just going to zoom into this corner and see what will happen. Okay, so let's change the cantilever's concrete. Minus 150, for example. And then I'll enter. And look what will happen. So I'm going to click outside to deselect the lines. And this is what happens. So you will uh, notice here that our magenta sketch line is along our grid line obviously and as you can see the black line here represents the edge of the concrete okay so that's how you read this one all right now the next thing that i'm gonna do it's time to finish up the boundary so i'm gonna use here uh, pick walls let's click that one and then let's click the internal side of our wall there that one and then that one and then let's make sure that our sketch is closed. No intersection, no overlapping. So I'm going to select trim extend to corner. The shortcut is TR for that. And then we're going to select the sides that we would like to remain. There you go. So it's now clean. Corner is clean. Okay, just check. Just make sure it's closed. No overlapping, no intersection. Okay, so this should be closed. So I'm going to click this. This one, boom, close. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, and then after that, let's finish up. Finish. All right, so for the span symbol, I'm not going to load that. So I'm just going to select here, no. And then I'll just select here, no as well. Okay. There you go. Okay, so let's check this out in the 3D view. So let's select the 3D and this is now how it looks like. Okay, so that's our floor. So now I'm going to open an open uh, I'm going to create an opening here on my floor. So I'm going back to my second floor and then I'm going to zoom into this area here. Now, before I finish or before I create the opening from the uh, view control bar, I'm going to change here the detail level to medium. Because right now it scores, that's why it's showing our uh, structural elements here as a stick or just a single line. So I'm going to change that to medium. So it shows like this. Okay. So, and let me change this to 1 is to 100. Okay. There you go. So this is where I'm going to create the opening. Okay. So to do that, just go to the opening tool here and then there are bunches of tools here so i'm going to select the shaft opening just click that and then i'll be using here pick lines and let's specify an offset distance here so let's say uh 75 for that okay and then let's now pick 
our or create our boundary or our opening so so i'm gonna click here with an offset of 75 there you go there you go and there you go again make sure the corner is clean no intersection no overlapping and it should be close okay it should be close no intersection no overlapping like that and then before i finish this one i'm going to use the symbolic line here to create a symbolic uh, line or symbol for the opening so i'm going to click that using the line tool i'm going to click at the corner here just a cross symbol will do and then i'll select here click that and then there you go so you can also specify here the opening the height of your opening but before i do that i'm gonna select your finish and to show you what happens so select finish edit mode click outside i'll select the 3d icon and you see there's the opening so you can actually select the opening that you just created which is this one that's the shaft opening you can modify that manually you can click that uh, arrow pull down and then it will adjust the opening and then if i click outside there's now your opening right but of course you can also specify an exact value so i'm gonna click this i'm gonna change here the top constraint i'm gonna select here up to the roof okay and then for the top offset i'm gonna make this let's say 900 and then i apply there you go something like that so i'm just showing you that you can adjust the shaft opening on the properties and then just click outside and you will now notice that there's now your opening let's say we are going to place a stair here okay now the last thing that we will be doing here is let us just uh, modify the roof deck so from the 3d view i'm going to select the roof like that all right so while the roof is selected i'll go to the second floor Oh, I mean to the roof floor. Double click the roof. Okay, so the roof or the floor is still selected. If I check the property, as you can see, it's still selected. And then from the shape editing, I'm going to select here pick supports. Okay, so we're going to modify our roof. So I'm going to start on my grid one. So I'm going to pick this, click, pick support pick support okay just click that and then i'm gonna click this one as well this one this one okay so let's pick that this one this one here okay nice and easy click 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 and there you go and then just select here modify and after that let's check the 3d view and there you go so as you can see it's now fixed let's check out the section that has been created here with the building section and as you can see our uh, roof now is fixed okay and if we check out the edge detail draft uh, detail view here so this is the floor that we just created on our second floor so there you have it okay so basically this is the basic way of creating or adding a shaft opening adding a floor and modifying the slope of an existing roof deck all right so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day